Hey, how's it going awesome people? It's Robinder from Focuses and today we are going to learn how to create this our team section using materialized CSS. And of course, it is fully mobile responsive. So for this, you just need to know the simple concept of grid and other than that, it's just copy, paste and edit. Trust me. So I'm going to use a Visual Studio Code uh, as my text editor. Of course, you can use anything you want. Go to the new one. And now let me just save the file. So I'm going to be saving this file here. And I'm going to give the file name team.html. And then hit save. So first of all, we need to set up materialize, of course. So I'm going to go to materializecss.com. From here, just click on get started. We're going to be using CDN, but let's see the setup first. So here's the HTML setup. All you need to do is just copy it and paste it in your text editor just like this and hit save now as i said earlier we're going to use a cdn so it is better to use cdn than download the file because it reduces server load so just going to copy this css and paste it in our code so here is the css file and just going to paste it now all we need to do is just replace this javascript code with this one so i'm going to copy this again and paste it right here so i'm gonna hit save and we are all done so if you are wondering what this is it is basically how you can import google's material icon uh, in materialized css so the setup is pretty much complete so now we are going to clear the concept of grid before making the actual our team section for our team we'll be using cards but let's move to the grid first so i'm gonna search grid here and is the grid so let me go to the introduction part so by default what materialize says is in a row i'll basically have 12 columns so you cannot have more than 12 columns in a row so let me just copy it and show you guys paste it here and let's view here as you can see it has by default 12 column if we try to add uh, let's say another one It will simply go to the next line because it only has 12 columns in a row so in materialized css what you need to know other thing is this responsive layouts uh, s stands for small uh, which is basically the mobile device m is for medium one and which is the tablet device and l is for the desktop device large and Excel is for the desktop of course we are going to use some css which we'll be doing at last this is the large screen here and from here to here we're going to have 12 columns so each of the card here occupies four columns because four plus four plus four adds up nicely to make 12 and of course materialize has 12 grids in the large screen for one card we're going to have four columns all right so i'm going to write for large four and for medium it's totally up to your choice if you see here even for the medium it is 12 because it is occupying all the space so for medium you can write 12 and for small we also want that to be 12 and we're going to need this three times so i'm just going to copy and just paste it okay one two three because uh here we have like three cards so let me go to the grid and search for card and here is cards now this is the basic card and there are different choices that you can make there is like card reveal which just shows this nice effect and there is tabs in cards if you want but i'm going to use this image card right here because it's so simple and so nice we already have defined row and column so i'm just going to copy it from this div and up to here and then just paste it in the first all right so if i refresh this so we're going to see this cool looking card but we don't have image here because i don't have this image name by the way this is my folder structure so this is the file i'm working on and i have image folder here and inside the image i have images one two three so i'm going to use these three images so here is image slash so let me type one dot jpg and let's see the result so yeah perfect as you see we have m 2 here so for the medium screen it will be occupying all 12 spaces and even for the small screen it is occupying 12 space because we already have defined that 
for a small screen it's 12 but for the large it is 4 so that's why it is only occupying 4 columns here so let's see if all the cards are working or not let me copy this and paste it here and again paste it here so just gonna save it so this is good now I just want to edit only one card so just gonna edit only one card and I'm gonna copy that and paste so what we want is to write the name here and founder and then write something text here so what I want is just to move this card title in here I want to move this card title into card content and let me write a paragraph and just gonna give this quotation and gonna write founder and in card title I want my name so I'm just gonna write Ravindra Thapa and I also want this to be italic so i'm just going to copy this founder i'm going to select this founder and paste it right here and then hit save reload the file so we are going in right direction now i want both of them into the center so what i'm going to do is go to the card content and we're going to have a class called center so make sure it is in class all right and i'm going to hit save and reload it again bam here we have I also want this to be bold so that it will be nicer so I'm just gonna cut this and paste it inside here and say it again perfect now I want this to move down here so what I'm gonna do is just cut this p tag and paste it here inside this div all right so just gonna save it and view it so yeah we're near the first card is perfect now what i'm gonna do is just copy this card and paste it from this div to this div i'm gonna copy and paste it in second and also paste it here so just gonna save it and view the result yeah perfect so now i need to edit all these names and stuffs so i'm just gonna go here and let's say just copy this text and where's the second one so this is the second one i'm just gonna paste it here and let's give this developer also i'm gonna change the image so in my directory i have this picture named two so what i'm gonna do is just edit here and make it two now let's save it and view the result here yeah cool now we're going to do the same thing for the third one the name is dante ruiz and let's say paste it and instead of founder i want that to be designer and also i'm going to change the image so another name of the image was 3.jpg so here it is now it looks very very cool but what i want is just to add some space here and add like our team on the top so let's go to the top of the code so here is the body now i want to give the heading so i'm gonna write h1 and i also need the class called center because i want the text to be in center so i'm just gonna give dot and write center and hit tab all right and inside h1 i'm gonna give like our team and save it here it is let me just refresh it and bam here we have it so i'm just going to give the br tag just to give some space let me just view it and here it is so if you guys can see it is fully mobile responsive so for the medium screen it is also 12 for the large of course it is going to have three cards one by one just like this which is pretty cool so now I'm just going to add some CSS because it is stuck here. All of this element resides in this div. If you see from this div, it is all the way to the down here. So all of these elements are wrapped inside this div. So I'm just going to go here and add some CSS. For CSS, of course, I'm going to write style and give like width of 90% and margin auto. 
what this with 90 percent is does is width of the content will be 90 percent and this margin auto basically specifies that everything will be in the center so i'm just gonna save it and refresh this bam it looks very cool now so this is the very same thing that we wanted to make and here is the result so if you want more tutorials like this then just comment down below uh i hope you guys love the video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one